Hey YouTube, uh, so I wanted to talk about currently um, my idiopathic neuropathy. <sighs> it's so stressful because I was completely healthy prior to any of this and it's been going on eight months and the scary thing about it is that a very significant amount of cases about a third go um, undiagnosed they're considered they're considered undiag they're considered idiopathic like they said 50% of cases of neuropathy are from diabetes and then once diabetes has been ruled out, the other uh, half of the other 50% is um, you find the cause and then the other half is, is uh, idiopathic. And then I've heard other stuff like a third is, is um, idiopathic. And then I went to the neuro last week at the, the Wheel Cornell Peripheral Neuropathy Center and they said the doctor there, um, Dr. Norm Latove, he's like an expert on peripheral neuropathy and he said that like 50%, they're, they're only able to find the cause 50% of the time. So that leaves me with just like freaking out um, because it's just so stressful. And, um, it's scary because, like, I'm reading stuff online and hearing how it progresses for other people and also how it, like, doesn't progress at all for, like, some people. And I'm just, like, so confused because, like, for most people, it's just, like, in their lower body and then it takes, like, years to, like, hit other parts of their body and stuff like that, but... <sighs> but like I don't know because like for me it's just like it's pretty much everywhere and it progressed so fast um, like like pretty much everywhere and now I'm just like I read these stories and I hear like how like it progresses really bad for some people where just like the sense of, of like touch is like painful for them and walking they can't walk anymore or like they can't feel parts of their body and I'm just like it's so crazy because like this is so annoying, I'm sorry. I was gonna make this video like next week, but it's been really bothering me. Um, oh gosh, I'm looking rough. <laughs> it's been really bothering me uh, today, so it's crazy because like I was perfectly healthy eight months ago. Like nothing, nothing in my family the only person who would have like some type of neuropathy is like my grandma she had she had diabetes but she had neuropathy temporarily but like nothing runs at all in my family like i never had any health issues never took any medications my whole life i ate healthy all i did like i worked out four to five days a week sometimes six days a week ate all organic that's just that's just you know and it's just like this is happening and it's just it's so stressful so so I don't I don't know um, I don't know because I was just on this website because I I, I I have visited some forums like you know reddit um, the neuropathy forum on reddit and also 
it's the sub forum already and also neuro talks they have a peripheral neuropathy section so i read stuff on there and then yesterday i found patients like me and patients like me is like that freaked me out <laughs> that literally freaked me out and i'm just like what the freak like oh my gosh like hearing some of the stories from those people i'm just like oh my gosh and yeah i'm so scared and i feel like i feel so like helpless almost like i feel like my life is over for one and oh my gosh this is so annoying oh, sorry and like i don't know i feel like it's just it's so strange because i'm trying to figure out where in the world did i even catch this from like if it's an infection like I went to Indonesia last year in some really remote part of Indonesia. So I'm like, did I did a, some strange bug bite me when I was there or something like that? And I'm like, Ugh. I really don't know. And all I can think about is just survival of the fittest. Like, why does this have to, this have, to happen to me? Like, no one I know has this. Like, none of my friends are dealing with any type of chronic illness or like pain. And like every time I wake up, it's just I'm always in pain. <sighs> so I've been doing a lot of research. Um, I've pretty much exhausted every link about neuropathy, and you know I'm hoping that this these people at Wheel and Cornell can figure out what is going on. If they're not able to, I'm probably gonna have to do a lumbar puncture. Um, I did two MRIs already, and uh, probably, yeah, I'm going to have to do a lumbar puncture, and probably see one more neuro neuromuscular specialist, uh, because I'm finally getting insurance. I literally I had to pay for these Will and Cornell people, like $700, and they wanted to do a, a skin biopsy for like $800, first of all. <laughs> um, yeah because i had i had insurance and it ended in may under my parents and now i don't i'm pretty much uncovered so i've been paying like all these bills by myself so yeah i get covered again in like two weeks or so but yeah anyways um so after the lumbar puncture I'm going to see a neuromuscular specialist who is also a peripheral neuropathy person. I forgot her name. I know she's at Mount, Mount Sinai or something. Um, she had good reviews, so hopefully, you know, she's covered by the insurance I'm having. So, so she's like an expert at CIDP and like other type of uh, neuropathies. And last option most likely would be like Mayo, Mayo Clinic or something. I, read, I I saw this guy on YouTube. He said that like Mayo Clinic is able to find out 76% of idiopathic neuropathies. But then when I Googled like the chart link, it said like, I didn't Google it, but like on the chart he showed, it said 1981. So I'm like, if this study's from 1981, I'm sure they've gotten much farther. I'm sure everyone's caught up by now, 40 years later. Come on now. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so it also sucks too because, like, I'm a computer programmer, not, not employed. Not employed, and, like, it sucks because, like, this is the start of my career, and, I, I, and like, my whole body is neuropathizing. <sighs> I should probably get off the, the sub forums and stuff, but it sucks, like, it sucks being in pain every single day, and I, when it gets bad, I'm, when it gets, like, really bad, I'm gonna have to start taking, like, CBD oil or something, um, I don't know what to do, and I'm hoping that, I'm hoping and praying that it just, like, are we doing sorry, just got cut off, um, 
was I saying? Oh yeah, it sucks waking up in pain every single day. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, so uh, yeah, I was saying that I think it's really bad uh, to use, um, what you might call it, CBD oil. And then if it gets really, really bad, I'm gonna have to become a drug addict. Like, this is crazy. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was like super ignorant. But like I might have to start like taking like what what do they call it? Like GABA pentan or something like that or like all of that stuff. Like I don't know, it just it just feels so unfair. <sighs> but anyways, um All right, so uh, hopefully when I do my next video, I actually want to do a video on like MRI experience, like what an MRI is like. Um, it's freaking freaky. Um, and I want to do a video about um, EMG experience because I am so afraid of needles, but obviously since this whole thing has been happening to me, like I had to go to the doctor um uh, like literally i went like five years without because in college you had to ow, you had to like get shots and all that stuff so after that i didn't go to i didn't go to the doctor until like i was in the gym and i injured my knees and i had to get a referral for orthopedic or whatever so yeah i'm really bad with needles like it took like two nurses and the doctor to try to hold me down but yeah um so yeah, and then I want to do a follow-up video, obviously, because um, when I went to Bill Cornell last week, um, they did like 20 vials of blood for me, so hopefully I could tell y'all. I'll probably be too devastated if, if they don't find anything uh, to even make a video. <sighs> this is just terrible. Like, when you hear about this stuff, you're just like, it's not even, like, my whole life, like, like, the last eight, nine months of my life is just, like, this thing, and it's strange, very annoying, anyways, uh, yeah, I think that's it, so yeah, so stay tuned, <laughs> this is terrible, um, shout out to, uh, I don't even know, what was I going to say? Modern Medicine. Hopefully they could find out what's wrong with me because these vitamins is not cutting it. Alright, ciao.